Hi everyone, welcome to this video. And um, so this is going to be the first part in a series of videos. I'm probably going to release them once a week, I guess, uh, as I make progress. And the idea is I'm going to show how to build load cell pedals. Uh, it'll be of my own design. Um, not quite sure where the project's going to go. We will take it a, a week at a time, step at a time. And in this first video, I'm going to introduce the load cell, its wiring, and how you connect it to a Arduino Pro Micro, and how you get it to show up and register something um, in the game controller, um, so that you can actually put it into a game and use it as a as a pedal. So this is a hundred kilo load cell. That I got from Alibaba. It wasn't very expensive. I'll put the link in the description. Um, something makes me want to say it was less than ten pounds. Not sure. I'll have to check the uh, invoice. I got a couple, and I also bought some twenty kilo ones as well, which I would use for the throttle and clutch. Um, actually, for my purposes, I will probably get a two hundred kilo load cell some stage in the future for um, a brake pedal uh, but for now playing with this and figuring out um, how it works how it's got to be wired how it's got to be programmed and um, taking you on the journey with me uh, this should be absolutely fine so step one is to uh, this board by the way comes with the load cell it's an HX711 um, so the first step was to wire up the load cell to this board. Now apparently uh, load cells follow a convention on their wire colours um, sometimes for mostly five wires. Don't seem to need the yellow wire at the moment it's uh, like a grounding uh, EMI type um, wire so we have green, white, black and red. Green goes to what's labelled A plus on the board. White to A minus. Black to E minus. And red to E plus. Which is the four strain gauges that are um, on the aluminium block. And then on the other side of the board you have ground, data, clock and VCC <coughs> which go to the Arduino Pro Micro. OK, so the next stage was to wire up the other side of the board. So four wires. Ground, data, clock and VCC and they go to the Arduino so VCC goes to VCC ground to ground and then the other two clock and data go to 0 and 1 on the Arduino and I have put it as the clock is 1 and the data is 0 so that's that for wiring up. So in theory, if everything goes to plan, we load a sketch, which I will give you a download for, onto this board. And we should then see uh, this Pro Micro as a game controller. And we should see a value on one of the joystick axes for um, when we apply a bit of load to this load cell. So that'll be the next thing. I shall show you the sketch and then load it up. Okay, so the next thing to do is to go to this website, github.com, and uh, the link for this is in the description. Click get code. Um, and download the zip file and then we 
when you've got the zip file extract it to oops, uh, go extract all and then browse and you need to make sure it goes in the Arduino library folder which is under documents Arduino libraries and extract and then you'll see that the library is installed and that will be available to the Arduino program right so the first thing we're going to do and to end this part one of this series is to just check that we've got our wiring working and that we've actually seen some values from the load cell so I'm going to put this sketch or link to this sketch in the uh, description um, basically what it's going to do is read the value from the load cell and now put it to the serial monitor so first thing to do to upload it is obviously plug the USB cable into the Arduino board go to tools select the Arduino Pro Micro board from the boards manager uh, from the boards manager list then select what COM port it's on in this case COM12 and then click this sort of tick mark to verify the sketch and then click this arrow which will upload it to the board which is done and then if you go to tools and serial monitor this window comes up and it will tell you the raw value coming from the load cell and then if you pick it up and bend the load cell or try and bend the load cell in the direction that the arrow on the end says you see that the value changes close that down and I'm going to oh, save this sketch and say that for the first part of this video that's us done a bit of success the load cell is working the wiring is correct and the next thing to do will be to get this load cell sketch working so that it sees it as a joystick axis uh, sorry so it sees it as a joystick axis at which point um, we can then test it in game and see if we can actually get some sort of um, control just in our hands in a sim racing game so if you want to follow on with the uh, rest of the series then please subscribe to the channel so you get notifications when I do the next part of the video series and until then uh, thanks for watching uh, please leave any comments questions any guidance um, let's try and do all this together and see if we can't make something fun and uh, useful. Until then, cheers.